If you have not started watching Everything Sucks on Netflix, you're truly missing out. And that's all I'm gonna fight. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? So today is disgusting. It's raining outside, it's cold, and there's nothing worse than wet, cold rain. And if you're a British person or ever, li or ever lived in Britain, you understand what I mean when I say wet rain. I got a late start, I had a late night, I played video games with the boys. The, the boys? I play video games with the boy because that's what I do. I still need it at the 555 and it makes me anxious because it's like 3 o'clock and it hasn't been uploaded yet. <sighs> I need to do that. My house is a mess. I go through these redecorating phases and I spend like three days literally non-stop moving things around, getting rid of things, donating things, rearranging things. This happened, which I think looks really beautiful now. It used to be over here. And then over here now are gonna go my jackets, my hats, my backpacks. Do you guys wanna see the bedroom though? A little embarrassed. A little embarrassed about it. I mean it's not that bad. What a pretty bad. So this is the bedroom. This is like plant stuff and I need to donate some stuff. Look at that over there. This over there, my office, which doesn't even look like a functioning office, because let's be honest, it's not a functioning office right now. So I gotta get rid of that stuff and do things like that. Do you have one of those days where you just spring clean and go crazy? Comment below. Otherwise, how have you been? Are you okay? Are you good? Things are just slipping away from me. Life is just slipping away from me. I have a live stream on Sunday, which I uh, snuck up about, and I need to do a Patreon post about that. And I sent out postcards, which is awesome, but I also need to do Skype calls again, one-on-ones with you Patreon people. It's just crazy. Like, we're 25% over with 2018. Like, what? How did that happen? Where is time going? I don't understand. Sunday, there's a possibility that a guy named Justin is going to be staying with me for an extended period of time because he's doing a piece about me. He's writing a piece about me. He has a series on Huffington Post, and he chose me to be included in Amos Gubiano's podcast. And, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's very flattering to be chosen and to have someone literally come out from Ohio to spend time with me, to get to know me, and then tell other people about me. That's a, a really awesome feeling, and I'm excited to make a new friend, hopefully, so that's cool. So yeah, I'm in a onesie with unicorn slippers. That's how my day is. How's your day? Comment below. I love you. Send Vinny support. I need to get out of this house. I think that's what's gonna happen. So, But first, I need to stop watching everything's Everything sucks because it's a good episode, so I'll finish that. And then I'll get my life together, go out, get up a coffee, bring my work, and start working. I need emails and Patreon posts. And if you guys, like, I know this is a long clip, but if you guys want these videos, if you want these videos to continue, and I mean this in all sincerity, I'm getting to a point in my life, specifically financially, where that may not be a reality of me posting six times a week. I may not be posting as much because I'm going to have to look for a job, a real job that's nine to five to pay my bills because YouTube is honestly killing content. It's honestly killing content creators like me and it is not making it an option to invest as much as my time into creating because the financial payout is very minimum. Um, minimal? So, if you want to contribute to my Patreon page, if you want to support a struggling artist such as myself, because that is what I do, art is my expression, a link down below, whether it's one dollar or three or whatever, you know, if everyone on this page donated, like, a dollar a year, like, I would be making $11,000 for the year. If one person, if every person on the main channel donated a dollar, I'd be making over $100,000 a year. And I am nonstop doing YouTube. I don't quit. I either my phone, I'm writing emails, or I'm filming, or I'm editing. I do not get a day off. And that should result in some sort of livelihood that does not exist. Like, you don't understand how much I work, and yet I do it because I want to do it, because it fulfills me, and it's a great relationship between you guys, but when reality hits, and you're struggling to pay bills, then you have to reassess things. So that's where I'm at. I'm reassessing things, and I don't know if my future on YouTube will be l there because because struggling artists struggle and that's what I'm doing so 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think, because it's it's disheartening. It's disheartening to work a lot and to to struggle make you know paying your bills. But the good thing is like I have a beautiful life and I wouldn't change it at all. And I travel and I live with my parents, but you know what? They're kind to me, so it could be worse. So silver lining, do what you love and you don't feel like you work a day in your life. And it's true. I don't. I don't feel like I work that much, which is why I work that much. But you know what? A little bit of kickback of money would help every now and then. And not have me sleeping on a mattress on the floor. Just saying. But